What's up everybody, it's Big Banks, we're back again for another video. And as you can tell, we're out in the middle of nowhere. So, driving on this dirt road, we see this abandoned house out here, and it looks absolutely beautiful. The moldings up there, the green, the chimneys, everything, like this house is gonna be really good. We're gonna go inside, we don't really know anything about it yet, because we haven't been and we just kind of stumbled upon it. But let's go in before it gets dark, let's try to film this thing and uh, yeah, here with the band of Dallas again. Hello. Let's uh, let's get right into this explore. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. All right. So. Ow. Oh, you get stabbed by something? Yeah, gnarly. It's gnarly. All right. Hey, look at the moldings on the house. Come on, please, no spiders. Get through it, mate. Come on. Stay with me. Go through all this stuff. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, look at the beautiful chandelier. <laughs> that is a nice chandelier, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like four, uh, <laughs> four, uh, four light around, bulbs. Uh, <laughs> four ski bulbs. It must have been around the holidays when this was abandoned, because there's a Christmas thing right here. Everything always seems to be abandoned during the holidays. Yeah, and there's more Christmas decorations right here. I guess it makes sense, it's the end of the year. And, it's uh, supposed to be happy times, you know? Yeah, you're moving on to new, new things. Exactly. So, so far, it's kind of beat up quite a bit. There's some chairs in here, but there could be some other good stuff in this house. We don't really know until we walk through. But the ceilings are absolutely, their ceilings are very large. These are like 12 foot ceilings. These are huge. But I'm trying to figure out which, what is the purpose of each room. Uh, you know, we don't normally do a bunch of empty houses like this, but I mean, we're out here. This house is beautiful on the outside. And uh, you know, it's, it's unique. So I do want to show you guys this one because the ceilings are so high. I mean, look at the size of the windows. The windows are huge. They got these green shutters, you know, and this amazing wooden floor that it's really sad to see in this shape, you know? But this room has like a pink tone in here and the roof is like, it's like this, uh, I don't know. It's like this texture up there. But they're, like I said, the roofs are really top, like really high. But I want to say this is maybe a dining room, something like that. We'll come through here. Floor looks pretty, pretty bad for the most part right there. But there's a lot of stuff left over here, like trying to just scatter on the floor. Let's try to stay on the beams a little bit. So you can see there's holes in the floor right there. This is actually quite a large house, man. Oh, he almost stepped on a nail back there. <laughs> I don't know if I trust this floor too much, but let's make our way over here. This is the kitchen. And the kitchen actually, a lot of it's stripped, but it's a blue color in here. I just love the high ceilings. It's actually like a teal, like blue in here. And the paint peel is actually pretty cool. Along with, there's a fridge and it looks like the cabinets would have been all right here with the sink, but it looks like that's all stripped out. I wonder if, I wonder what happened here. There's even still some like, whoa, what the heck? I don't know what would have been here, but I just almost tripped on it. And the kitchen has a fireplace, so there's multiple fireplaces. This is one of those houses that have fireplaces in almost every room. Yeah, all the other rooms have too. So that's what they did to actually keep the homes heated because they didn't have like heating systems or AC or anything like that. But there's like old peaches and fruits and stuff cut up right there. Still in the jars left. It's nasty. <laughs> we gotta open up the fridge. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's alright. That's empty. Again, more high ceilings. This must have been a 
Oh, there's a table back here, but I don't think this was a dining room. I think this must have been more of like where they uh, had, like where they did, I don't know, laundry maybe? It's kind of hard to tell, but there's a lot of clothing in here, so that could be the case of this room. And this room is all like wood panels. And look at the roof, the fact that it had that metal roof, it's not buckling at all. I yeah. Mean, there's just one board, but that's just from the moisture. Yeah, like there's no leakage or anything like that. This is, uh, yeah, this is, oh wow, that goes up to the attic, the old school ladder right there. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. My lord, what kind of room is this? It's like your like, utilities room. Right? Yeah, probably utility room. See nature's kind of taking over a little bit in here. What is this? We got some, uh, peanuts? Or some kind of nuts. Yeah. How, how much do I have to pay you for you to eat one? Uh, not enough money <laughs> in the world. <laughs> it's hard to figure out a story of this place. You're gonna have to start picking up some papers. Yeah. Uh, there's a, I believe her room was over here or whatever it lived here. What a, what a weird like, place to put a bathroom. Huh? This is a bathroom? Yeah, it is. Why is it in the middle of the hallway? The bathroom is literally just in the middle of the hallway. Yeah, dude, I bet you the back of this wall has so many razors. Oh yeah, you see it? There's a little razor blade right there. Really? Yep. Right there. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's... These old bath things would have a razor slot where you stick your used razors in. And I'm just obsessed with them. And it's weird because like, it's it? such a weird design. Oh yeah. It's such a weird design because like they just drop in there and then they just stay there forever. <laughs> but this is strange to have a bathroom in the middle it of the is. hallway. It's just like in the middle of the hall. I've never seen that before. What a weird design. Like if somebody's using the bathroom and they have to go around. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's just so strange. So for some reason I thought this was a two story home. No, it's just got really high ceilings. Yeah. Dude, these are 12, 13 foot ceilings, dude. They are. Man, this would look so nice, like restored. These actually might be 15 foot. These are big. No, these were like 15 foot. Yeah, these are like 15, because mine's 12 at home, and these are much larger. This would be a beautiful house. Like, the bones are good. Thankfully, it's a super bad house. Oh, so here's a bedroom. And we've got this still sitting here. The cushion's right there. Most of these houses out here seem to always be ransacked, you know? Yeah. Which is weird. But then look at the closet, dude. It's like, still got the clothes hanging up in here. Wow. Abernathy is her name. Uh-huh. Yeah. Abernathy. I've seen a few pieces of that. I got the shoes and, the, and the, this little shoe thing. I wonder if the front of the shoe actually looks clean compared to the back because it's not doing this. No, these are cracked. Oof. Some cracked heels. Wow, just so much stuff. Scattered everywhere. What is that? Uh, I don't know. It's like a, maybe a, a brooch or something. Kind of cool being out here at night too. It's a little, a little different. This is Virginia on the back. Virginia. That's probably her name. Virginia Aber, Abernathy? Probably. Something like that, maybe? Oh, this house is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, literally. This hallway looks nice, though. We got more bedrooms over here. This room is... This room came to walk in. But you can tell these mattresses are super old. They don't make them like that no more. There's even a couch in here too. So each each bedroom is actually quite large. All the same, actually their each bedroom is pretty much the same size. Then they have the window above the, above the door here. But see, this is what I mean. Like this is supposed to be in a room way over there. Yeah, so somebody, I think somebody took the guts of it. So you see it's missing everything from the bottom. 
Somebody's just trying to get parts, maybe. Yeah. yeah. The magic chef. I love the colors. These southern homes always have really cool colors of the houses. Yeah, I think this one may even have a porch swing down here. This goes out to a porch. Oh yeah. It's a little cement. Hey, around. look, it's got the blue. Uh, oh yeah. Blue ceilings. Man, I it's called paint blue for the you know. Yeah, somebody could definitely restore this, and it'll be a very solid, nice house. I think so too, but it's, I think it's all about the location. Mm, yeah. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. It just depends whether you want to live off the beaten path, which is literally where we are. Some people like to be like that, though. And we have one more bedroom back here, and chock full of you know clothes and things like that, as such. Even some Christmas presents wrapped up, things like that. Because I mean, look at this. Okay, look at this box spring. Like it's that's old. Like that's really old. And the mattress. Like they definitely don't make mattresses like that no more. Wow. Quite awesome, if you tell me. All right, guys, so we just finished exploring this house. I know this is not normally what I post on the channel, something that's kind of empty like this, but uh, I think the outside is beautiful, and I think it's just one of those things where, you know, it's just sad to see homes go like this, and sad to see, you know, such beautiful architecture just be put to waste. And that's what I want to showcase on this channel sometimes, is just, you know, sometimes it's not about what's left behind, sometimes it's just about, you know, the stories and this, how sad it is that we, as humans, leave stuff like this. I know it's out in the middle of nowhere, but some people would actually like that. Personally, myself, I would like to have a house on some plot of land, but maybe not out here in a dirt road. Like I said, we're out in the sticks. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this. This video is not going to be a long one like you guys, like I normally do, but I, uh, I enjoyed this house. You know, it's got beautiful architecture, the, the crown moldings and everything, the high ceilings, the colorful walls and everything. I mean, it's... It's a beauty and it could be saved. It's It's got good bones. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit that subscribe button, check out Abandoned Dallas here. And we're gonna get out of here and go, go on to the next one. So if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And until next time, Big Banks out.